Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, the Dawn Pack, and we are here with Dawn and her mate Onyx, and it has been a very exhausting long day of keeping our puppies alive. Oh my goodness, we have, there's another one, there's already another coyote waiting to come and eat our puppies, we literally just got here. We literally just woke up after such a stressful day of, of defending our pups from certain doom and death. Do you know how many cougars and coyotes and bears we chased off yesterday? Oh my gosh, poor Dawn, poor Onyx. They are really having quite the time of it, if you ask me. Oh my gosh, all right, and territory is even highly marked. But we are having such a difficult day because it is actually a bring it on day. I rolled the dice cough cough I should have said for roleplay purposes that the the whims of fate and time and weather have come together to mean that it is a bring it on night so prey is not going to be as easy to find and predators are going to be out in force trying to make a meal out of our four little puppies and it is indeed night we rolled and we rolled for night so we are going to onyx can you please feed the puppies oh thank goodness he's feeding them so if we stand and supervise he might actually do most of the feeding for us okay good and we should probably night paw let's go ahead and teach you guys oh night paw get down <laughs> why do the, the coyotes always come for night paw where did it go where did it go there's onyx where's the coyote where's the coyote okay there it is! Okay! Right. No, you don't! No, you don't! Sneak it up behind me like that! Oh, I should have used my senses earlier in on all of that. Oh my gosh. Alright. We're gonna have to train the puppies too. It's really hard to get their pack affinity up when they don't really wander away from the den, which is good. But their pack affinity being lower means they should be wandering away from the den. But alright, while we have a little bit of food in them, let's see if I can do a really quick run. Uh, do we have any... There's a lot of carcasses. There's actually... Oh, there's actually a carcass over here. Let's go ahead and get the food from the carcass over here really quickly. And we're going to see what kind of day... Onyx, there you are. Oh, wait, I already had plenty of food. Onyx, what are you letting me do? <gasps> oh, I'm so skittered and panicked about our pups. And with good reason. So we are back for another daily adventure. Thank you so much to those of you who held your support with the likes before. That still sounds so cheesy, but I literally can only ask you guys for likes and comments and your, your like, howls of, of worry because we have bears. Why? Why couldn't I say, oh, let's cure the puppies if we manage to bite the, the tail off a bear? Why couldn't I say bite a bear and chase them away? by nibbling his rump. Uh, oh, jeez, Primrose. Nightpaw. Oh, gosh, stone, 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 stone. Nightpaw, stop eating. Oh, my gosh, stone. A little bit more warning, like laying down. It would be really good if, if when the puppies were hungry, they didn't just hide it. They actually, like, maybe laid down a little bit, and I could tell which one is about to starve to death. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, these little ones. Are you kidding me? Nightpaw. What is it about you in particular? That brings the coyotes? No Nightpaw! No Crow! Get out of my mouth! <laughs> now is not the time to play, puppies! I think Crow got a little alarmed and like threw himself under Dawn's feet. Poor Dawn, and Onyx was just trying to go get some food. I can't believe how many predators there are. We actually don't have any time to work with our pups. Oh my gosh. Huh. But speaking of predators, we actually need to start moving because unfortunately the illness has arrived to our den. So that mysterious disease that hovers over all of the plants and seems to spread mysteriously from animal to animal in the forest has actually managed to get into the den today. I rolled the dice. Oh my gosh, why is there already a bear? Is it just me or does it feel like this is a little excessive? Just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, I feel like Dawn is becoming a hardened warrior in a way that she's never really had to worry about before. All right, and let's keep moving. And we need to keep our eyes out for a fox. So, oh geez, I think the cougar is up on cougar rock too. We might go howl at it to see if we can scare it away. But let's come back to the pups because I have just delivered some dramatic news. The illness that has lingered over the forest and on top of the grasses and the flowers and everything else has finally arrived to our puppies. And out of all of the little ones who could get sick, it is 
Primrose, our only female and the only one who looks like Dawn, who has started to display symptoms. <laughs> it's the middle of the night at my den. Do you know how ridiculous this is? Get away. Oh my gosh, please tell me that chased it away. An owl. Okay, oh my gosh, that's my only explanation that I can imagine is like an owl coming to eat my puppies. Uh, let's feed whoever is hungriest. I am so sorry if I am not able to provide a stone. Stone seems to really struggle with getting enough food too, and I need to go get more food to feed the puppies like this instant. Uh, and I really need their pack of panini to be a little bit higher. All right, well, let's just finish off this elk carcass, feed up the puppies, and then we need to go prowling for the weakened elk from the herd because we're already running low on food and we haven't even fed the puppies enough to get moving. Oh my gosh. This is just ridiculous. I shouldn't have to chase away a predator every single time. I think it's this den. I think the forest den just has too many places for all of the animals of the forest to hide. And I think the bears in particular seem to be extremely desperate for food. They just really do. They keep they keep crashing in. Uh, they keep, look at that bear butt run away. You get out of here, bear. But the bears in particular do seem to be very, very desperate for food. Little Crow and Stone seem to be the two who are surprisingly weakest from hunger. But Primrose is the one that currently does have the disease. Oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, we can continue the final journey if we wanted. <laughs> oh. Um, should I bring the puppies with me? This is like a really terrible den. We're going to stay at the den right now just so that I can take out... Uh, Crow, you come with me really quickly. Just so that I can take out one or two more elk. And we need to go looking for a fox. I can't tell you guys the story and stay at the den at the same time because it just seems to attract death and doom. So let's get moving. We're going to start running. And we are going to see if we can find another weakened elk or even better. I do have some elk corpses over here that we left behind and we're gonna run along the river really quickly and see if we're able to find a fox because Primrose has started to display some of the symptoms of that illness. Here is how the illness is going to work. We are going to have the puppy start displaying a little bit of the sickness that chewing on the mysterious roots that only the foxes seem to be able to find seems to help with and she'll get a little sicker tomorrow as well. And on the third day, if she is not, every day she has a chance for the sickness to increase basically. And on the third day when the sickness increases and I will roll, oh, that's a coyote. Lead us to the fox for crying out loud. And if I leave it alone now, it's gonna follow us back to the den, unfortunately. Onyx, come on, help me. It's frustrating and I'm sorry, coyote, but if we leave it alone, it will actually ch follow us back to the den. I'll turn around, I won't get a warning, and my puppies will be dead. Uh, and I've stumbled on the fox a time or two along the riverside, which is why I'm running around here. All we have to do is just see one and give it a good chase. What was that? Anything? Anything? Maybe deeper in the forest then. Alright, let's see if we can get a good hunt in and get our way back over to the puppies. You can see the clear line of food that we have left leading us over to the summer hunting grounds. Don and Onyx are definitely experienced parents, that's for sure. All right, any elk though? Any elk at all? We're a little bit upwind. I don't smell anything and the puppies are way hungry. Okay, Onyx, let's go. Oh my gosh, I hope we make it back to the den in time. This definitely cut it very short. I will admit perhaps forest den is not my strong point. Oh my goodness, are they all gonna starve? We spent so long searching for a fox, <laughs> but I don't want Primrose to die. So here's how our challenge works today. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Coyote. Starvation. Coyote and starvation. Coyote and starvation. Okay. I have enough time to chase off the coyote before the starvation. All right. Let's do this. Get away from my puppies. Ah, there we go. All right, and let's come back over here. I'm, I'm kind of imagining that the coyote is just like playing dead and we're not actually killing it. And we just see the same coyote over and over and over again, to be completely honest. <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like. All right, come on in. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like because this guy just showed up. All right, let's do this. 
But here's how the illnesses work. I roll a number between 1 and 100. The first number shows me how strong the immune system is on the puppy. And the second number, if it is greater than the first number, shows how strong the disease is. And if the number is greater than the immunity of, that the puppy had that day, that is when they will become sick. Oh my gosh, why so many bears? <laughs> We should just get out of here. We should just get out of here. I wanted to take some time. Oh, geez. Dawn's going to take a hit or two if I'm not careful. <gasps> oh, my gosh. She has had to turn into so... Like, she has had to become a much, much stronger fighter. And she's probably far more muscular. And that whole time we were fighting off the bear, Onyx was actually growling and guarding the den. All right. But that is how my... I can't talk and, like, save puppies at the same time, I swear. But that's how the challenge works with the illness, is if the number of the disease is higher than the number of the immunity, then the puppy will actually uh, have a chance of becoming sick. If they are sick, so if they are sick for three days in a row, then they will unfortunately pass away from the illness. So we have two days after this, uh, to if the sickness advances in Primrose, to try to cure her by stumbling on a fox, please. Anywhere, here, maybe, in the forest, searching for foxtails. Very important. Sometimes I've run across them once or twice, kind of lingering around these boulders, sometimes down by, by the river. Maybe we'll get lucky and we should just get on the move, and we might stumble on one somewhere somewhere along the way. That may be the best bet now. Now that Primrose is sick, she also has a sickness, uh, did, like a sickness hit to her immune system. So her immune system is uh, lower than it was for a healthy puppy. So if I roll like a 50 for her, she's actually only going to have 30 for her immune system. And then the disease has a big chance of taking over. See, here's a wild coyote. Why can't you be a fox, please? And again, I'm beginning to think this is less of like killing the coyote and we just defeated it. And we'll come back in a little while and it'll be the same coyote plaguing us. Curses, I don't see a single fox. And they're actually super rare. Man, having a fox as the thing that would provide the cure, probably not the best idea. All right, we'll search along here just really fast. Anything? Oh, what was that? Just a log, curses. All right, well time to turn around and make sure our pups are fed. So, that's how it works. We do have a sick puppy. Primrose is sick, and I swear this den practically feels like it's cursed. There's the coyote again. And I'm going to just say that's because the illness in the forest is making all the predators extremely fierce and hungry. So, I think next time, it is going to be time to actually get ourselves out of the den and on the move. Maybe if we get to the summer forest, even though our puppies are very young, Hopefully, they will be able to survive the journey and maybe somewhere out there, Nightpaw, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nightpaw, why are you the unlucky puppy? Here, also here, eat before you die, please. Like the teensiest bit while I stand back and wait. Oh, coming from behind. Oh, I nearly got little crow. Did we chase it off? Oh, thank goodness. All right, uh, eat please. Everybody eat. All right, Crow, if you could please eat. Onyx, do you have any food to feed the babies? I don't think he does. All right, well, that's it. We're gonna start moving and we're gonna try. Oh my gosh, Stone, hang in there. Stone, you're kidding me. No, we're out of here. This den is cursed. Y'all picked the, the, the creepy forest den covered in shadows, covered in curses. The puppies are now scattering because they don't know what to do. Onyx, 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 Stone, Onyx, Stone. Onyx, how can I defend from all sides like this? Where's the, come on, stone, I know you're hungry. Where's the eagle? Did I already chase it away? Stone, I've got you. Crow, I have to feed stone. Ah! Onyx, hurry. Okay, I, I uh, please don't let the eagle eat my baby. Please don't let the eagle eat my baby. Please don't let the eagle eat my baby. Oh my gosh. Need more food. Yeah, we're on the move. Hopefully Primrose will stay strong. Oh, where's the carcass? Where's the carcass? There it is. Hopefully Primrose will stay strong while she is. Uh, come on, eat, 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 eat. Come on, eat. There we go. 
We'll stay strong while she's sick. Hopefully we will find a fox. The faster we move, the sooner she might survive. So this is gonna be kind of a timed challenge for the summer forest. Now here's the question though. In the past, we did make the run to the summer forest, a time when we trained our pups by having to defeat a certain number of predators or take down a certain number. I don't have time. Stone is literally about to starve to death. He does not fuss enough for food. Onyx, please feed them. I am absolutely begging you to feed them. <laughs> so now here's the question. If we run to the summer forest, there's a good chance Dawn's second litter will survive because we will just blast our way there. We'll probably say that our puppies are not as strong as they should be as a result. So all pups, if we just run there without training them, all the pups that we have here, Nightpaw Stone, Primrose Crow, if they manage to live, I will say they have a, uh, a kind of like a strength handicap because we didn't train them, but they could possibly live. They wouldn't be the strongest of our wolves, uh, and we might say they could never have strength like over maybe 30, for instance, but they'd be alive. Crow, crow, now that is not the time to run away. So the voting today is going to be, should we do what we used to do, where we spend extra time working our way to the summer hunting grounds and saying that we're training the puppies, having to defend and protect them and watch as stories can unfold with them by doing so, or should we just run straight for the hunting grounds and raise a weaker litter of puppies than usual, but one that is still alive? Onyx, if you could just help feed, maybe pee on things, yeah. <laughs> But by all of the coyote raids and by Dawn's exhaustion and growing muscles, I think it is time to get out of here. Never again. This is one heck of a den. I don't think Dawn and Onyx ever want to come back to this den. So when we come back next time, guys, we're on the run. Can you believe this? A double coyote? It's an attack from an entire coyote pack. Stone! I really think that he like stumbles on his paws out of anxiety of the coyotes. Get out of here, would you? Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're like under attack by a Cody pack. So time to get out of here and make sure that you guys vote. Make sure that you guys howl with that like button if you guys... Well, that sounds so cheesy. If you guys want to be able to see a daily wolf quest and especially if you want to be able to see... A, a two, like 2,000 of you is a smidgen of all of the people here. If you guys want to be able to see a um, a live stream, it's it's just 2,000 of you, and there's quite the pack. It can be done, even just a smidgen. Oh my gosh, why? And we're being raided by a eagle and a stranger wolf at the same time. Don, 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 go, don, go, and we're out of here. This is a cursed den. I can't believe I forgot that. I will never forget it again. And Dawn now has the fury of having some stranger wolf pack sniff around her den. Oh boy. All right, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.